please be patient with us. We are working hard. We are working tirelessly. We're still right now working 16 hour shifts to get them restored. That's First Energy's president of Ohio, Torrance Hinton, on Monday, sharing a power restoration update almost a week after that historic storm that ripped through the northern part of the state. Initially, he had estimated that most people would get power back this Wednesday, but after securing more resources, has moved the estimate up. Most of our customers who are currently without service will have their power restored by 11 p.m. tonight. In the Glenville neighborhood on the east side of Cleveland, many residents feeling stir crazy as they continue to wait. No power, no food, your food go bad. You can't charge your phone, no TV, no nothing. So we, it's just been hard. Just been having to go to other people's houses to, to get food and you can't do anything without power. Anyone wanting to get their estimated restoration time can just text the word STAT to 544-487 or log into their account on First Energy's website. And for anyone interested in seeing that list of giant eagle locations that are giving out free ice and water, you can head to our website, WKYC.com. Christy. All right. Kai Choke, we appreciate it so much. You see Jessica Van Meter there standing by as well because there are details of a fifth tornado yeah. in that same storm. So talk to us about the path of it and really how did the National Weather Service find it? Yeah, so obviously they were really busy last week with all of the damage that came through. They had survey crews out trying to get all the information together and confirm all of the tornadoes. So they were able to confirm four tornadoes last week along with that macro burst. And then they had a little more time to kind of go back and review all the reports that came in, look at some more radar data and see some more of the pictures and videos that were sent in. And there is an adjustment to what they had. Basically, two tornadoes now instead of one. So two different paths, one from about the Avon, Avon Lake area over towards Rocky River. Uh, this is still an EF1 tornado, but check out that path length, almost 12 miles. And then the new one that they've confirmed closer to Bay Village. This one just less than two miles and these two actually intersected. So there you can see that longer path stretching west to east. They're the shorter path. So there was a crossover in the path there. Uh, really not a situation that happens too often, especially on the same day. So that's the update of the information. Thankfully, we do not have a concern for severe weather for tonight. All right, good to know. Wow, Jessica, thank you so much.